Dave, your move. I don't have all night. I have more pressing matters to tend to. Please. Please, Mr. Lucino. Can we... Can we just call it a draw? I just want to go home. A draw? <laughs> a draw? <laughs> we had a deal, Ralph. And now that you're down to just three pathetic little pieces, you want me to just wipe the slate clean? No. Is that it? I want to go home. I just want to see my family again. See my children. Well, maybe you should have thought of them before you gambled my money away. After all, the deal's a deal. And let's not forget, Ralph. You came to me. I didn't come to you. Now, please. Pretty please. Finish the game. Whoa. Looky there, boys. I think Ralph has finally come to play. Now that was a good, strong move, Ralph. Most people in your position would have pulled back to protect their king. It's not you, Ralph. Not you. <laughs> hmm. I think I might have some use for you yet, Ralph. Really, Mr. Chino? No, not really, Ralph. <laughs> I just love to see you rise and fall in your little sea of despair. You, you get that little glimmer of hope in your eye. <laughs> it's quite entertaining. Hmm. Look, Ralph, what kind of businessman would I be if I let a degenerate gambler such as yourself saunter away with 50,000 of my dollars? What kind of message would that send to the people I do business with, hmm? You understand the type of business I run here. You understand the type of people I am forced to interact with? Yes, sir. Well, good. Good, Ralph. Because then you understand how lives hang on every word I say and every action I take, no matter how small. For instance, with a small gesture of my hand, that gentleman to your right would cut your throat wide open without a moment's hesitation. I'm not going to give him that signal just yet. You know why, Ralph? Because the game's not over. That's right, Ralph. I gave you my word that if you won this game, you could walk out that door and have your pathetic little life back. But if you lost, Ralph, if you lost, your life belonged to me. Gabriel. I'm not much of a gambling man, Ralph. That's more your stick. But I do enjoy a battle of the wits. And my word is all I have. Well, that and all the money, booze, and women I could ever want. Right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't help but think that Father would be very displeased with all of you. What a pleasant surprise. Which reminds me, must be time to upgrade my security detail. <laughs> Your hired help does leave something to be desired. Yes, well, some changes are definitely in order. So, this is where you're keeping yourself these days. Not quite as grandiose as I would expect. Peaceful. Great place for me to gather my thoughts. So tell me, brother, what 
brings you to my little neck of the woods, hmm? Actually, I was in town on a different matter. But this little game of yours has drawn a lot of attention. And I would wager to say that Mr. Edwards here has no idea what's really at stake. Oh, I was just making that abundantly clear. So he's aware his life is on the line. His eternal life, Lucifer. <laughs> what's going on here? We have a deal. That's what's going on here, Ralph. Now finish the damn game. <laughs> Ralph. Go home. No, he will not! We got a deal. He will finish the game. I'll tell you what. If Ralph goes home, I will sit for a game with you. Now why would I let a perfectly good soul just walk out that door? Because I am offering you much higher stakes. I'm all ears, brother. Why settle for one soul when you can have the service of a new legion? You know how many I command. They will follow me loyally. You would swear your allegiance to me? Bah! <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You still have to win the game. Oh. Well, I've beaten you before. What are you not telling your big brother, hmm? Why is that one so important to you? You always were so paranoid, Lucifer. And if you're referring to our little game in the seventh century, Let's not forget I kept you occupied for quite some time. Yes. Yes, I suppose you did. For the righteous, every soul is important. And a single pawn could win the game. Besides, you know how this works. A deal's a deal. If you win, I would have no say in the matter. But he goes nowhere until this game is over. <laughs> Set up the board. White goes first, brother. So I couldn't help but notice you've been a very busy man lately. Let's not throw words like that around, brother. Let's keep things pleasant, shall we? Certainly. Only meant that your work is prevalent everywhere I go. Well, it's a big world, but there's still much to do. And I couldn't help notice how quiet things have been from your team, which begs the question. Why is it so hard to get some face time with the big guy these days? Well, it's a big universe. <laughs> Touché. What's really on your mind, Lucifer? You don't really want to discuss your scheduling issues with the home office? Or toss around childish taunts? Shh. You hear that? The silence is deafening. Don't you see, brother? He's abandoned you, moved on to his next little pet project and left you all wondering, when is he coming back? Nobody knows, nobody knows. And that, my brother, is the greatest lie ever told because I know, I do know.
only hope he gets it right this time so he doesn't have to murder his whole creation again. <laughs> Truth be told, I used to envy man. I used to hold such a special place in his heart. But now I realize they're all just pawns like you and Mikey. Pity, really. Just little playthings put on this earth to worship him. And he accuses me of pride. Hold your tongue. What, brother? Oh, you will get distracted. Besides, he never left us. He never will. Oh, really? Well, when's the last time you heard a peep out of him? Open your eyes, brother. The tides are changing and this war will be fought without him. As you patiently await his return, my armies grow stronger. And this world becomes my little amusement park. But come on, brother. You watch Fox News. Church attendance is down in record numbers. Narrow is the path. Oh, shut up. It was always your problem, Lucifer. But you could never accept the inevitability, the truth of it all. You chose your path as man chose his. Father had given you everything, but it was never enough. Our father was a tyrant! Our father had nothing but love for you! And you are nothing more than a spoiled child! And you think that you can ascend above his throne! Perhaps not. As we speak, Jesus prepares his horse for battle. I will not speak that name here. I'm tired of playing second fiddle to Mikey. Wouldn't you rather lead a legion as its top general? I offer you the world, brother. You will be at the right hand of my throne, and together we will be unstoppable. Do you expect me to just give you the game? You're gonna have to earn this one, Lucifer. And without me, you're outnumbered two to one. You know what is written? We all know how this ends. Silence! You shouldn't believe everything you read. You should call off your dogs, Lucifer, before I mute them. Show me where it's written that I won't have my dogs tear you to pieces right here, right now. <laughs> That's enough! The time is coming, servants, when the restraints that hold me shall be loosed. Then all this talking will be over. Even your own lesions have fallen won't be enough to stop me. Mike, Mikey, why are you so angry all the time? Hmm? Why don't you try to enjoy life? Smile once in a while. Does it so good. Oh, come on. Don't you remember when we were all just one big happy family? I would be eternally grateful to my lord for giving me the great and personal privilege of sending you straight to hell. Is this the one? He is the father. The unborn son holds the key. Have you secured him? I would say this counts as a forfeit. What's going on here? We have gained to finish. There is no forfeit. We will start over. Remember what I said. Even a single pawn can win the game. Come on, Gabriel. Our work here is done. Final preparations are underway.
Do you see me smiling now?